Hi, I'm back as promised to share how I made my altered golden book which I'm now using as my nature journal. Um, just a word of warning, I'm a complete beginner at this. This was the very first one I did and it did take me a good few hours to complete. Um, but I'm super pleased with how it all turned out and I'm uh, fairly hopeful of doing the same again with this one and I'm going to film it for you. So if you're a complete beginner, this is probably the video for you because like I say, this is only the second one I've ever done. Um, I'm making, uh, I've chosen this one because I'm going to keep my altered Alice postcards uh, once this is complete. So, right, um, let's get on with it. The first thing that you have to do is take the book apart. There are two staples, one here and one here in the spine. Um, they're pretty big staples. Um, it does need a little bit of brute force to get the book apart. But the good news is this piece here, this spine, we're not going to use at all. Um, so we can pull it, rip it, do whatever uh, we want to it just to get it all apart. Um, because really we only want this and the pages inside. And even although the pages inside will have holes where the staples, uh, we're, we're going to trim the pages down to fit in to the book anyway. Now, the other thing is you might not want to put these pages back into your book um, and include them in the signatures. I did because this book uh, is going to be my nature journal and it had good, um, nice pages about bugs and I thought, I'll just put the pages from the golden book back in and I'm going to do the same with this. But like I say, the fact that there's going to be staple holes doesn't matter because we'll trim it down to fit into the new book. Right, okay, so let's get pulling. And um, there's not really any easy way to do this that I've figured out. You just pull it apart and get the staples off there we are that wasn't too bad I know it looks a bit brutal but um, so we want to get these to there will be I want to try and ease these off one and just be careful with these staples they're quite sharp and that's the second one so that's the two pages two signatures from the Alice book and um, like I say there's holes but once we make our book these pages won't fit in again and so we can deal with that when we're putting our new signatures in. So we have this bit to get rid of. So I just, you can actually see where the thinner piece of card joins on and we're just going to cut it off. You can feel the thinner piece and that will keep you right. And we're going to cover all this anyway. So and we'll just tidy it up, tidy any loose bits that we have. And we'll take this one off. of the piece with the staples in it. Let's get rid of all our little bits. So we have 
our two pieces, our back and our front of what is going to be our new book. So next we need to put a spine down the middle so that the new spine becomes this part here and we will sew our signatures in to the new spine once it's all put together. So, and I'm not even sure that I'll sew my signatures into this one yet because I might want to do this one slightly different. Anyway, for the spine, we need another piece of card and we need it to be five centimetres by 20.5 centimetres. So that's 20.5 from the length of the book and we're going to put a spine in that is five centimetres now I have this piece of card, this is mount board but you can use any thick cardstock, you could glue two pieces of cardstock together if you don't have a thick enough piece um, or you could use packaging or whatever sort of card sort of would be good if you could get it the same thickness roughly as the book cover, uh, cover so that it's all sorts of sits it all sits nicely together and we're putting them together like that we're leaving the tiniest space so that the book can open and close so to stick all this together we're going to use material and i have chosen this material which I think matches quite well because it's going to go over slightly and I thought that went quite well together. It's the same material as that except in a, a different colour. So we want to completely lie this down. There. And we want that to come up like that and overlap slightly. So your piece of material needs to be 11 centimetres across by 42 lengthways because you want a bit of a join there and you want this to sit and this to sit here and then what we're going to do is glue all this down so glue that down to there and glue this down to here and at that point that will be the spine of your book so we just want to roughly make sure we're in the centre And we will have a go at gluing this down. I'm using this 3-in-1 eh, because I find this is quite good, quite strong for the fabric. So let's just Make sure that these two pieces there and we'll put this in the middle. Oops. Let's turn it over. Give it a good squish. good and we'll put this 
piece on. This is the back. Yes. And they're both facing the same way. Yes. <laughs> we'll have one bit upside down and one bit. Remember, we're leaving a little bit there. Get that lined up. And let that set, and we'll do the other side. Okay, let's just turn it over and have a look. And that's shining through a bit. I'm hopeful that that will dry. Hmm, that didn't do that with the last one. I wonder if it's because... The last material was dark. I wonder if that was why. Well, I can always, if it doesn't blend in, I can see the glue. If that doesn't dry in, we can cover it with another piece of material. That's disappointing. Well, it can always be covered. So now we want to glue these pieces in to the centre. Not showing up on this side. Hmm, that's all a bit strange. Anyway, like I say, it's not the end of the world. I'll just glue this down. that that doesn't meet up because we're going to put some trim. Did I put trim down the inside? Yes. So that covers up any bits that don't line up. So we don't need to be too particular. is nice that the but that's a bit disappointing that the the glue's showing up. If anybody's got any tips, maybe that's the wrong glue to use. Maybe maybe it'll dry, who knows? Now now I was going to add some trim but now I'm not so sure in case that doesn't dry. I was going to add something down the side 
But now if I need to put another piece around it there for a second. I wonder if it will. Oh well. I don't think it's really all that noticeable. Well um we'll pick out some yeah, what will we put in white? I don't think that's navy blue, so that's different. This, whoops. This, uh, this white might be quite nice. just noticed that I've covered the A and it's lice, lice in Wonderland. Maybe I'll get an A and stick an A on there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh now it's ice, ice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, now I don't have enough of that to do the inside, so we'll need to choose something else for the inside. Maybe some white. Have I got enough of that? Oh dear. I think I'll need to go in or online and order there some black. I'm running out and the shops aren't open. There's not enough white. There's enough of that to do the outside, but is there enough of this? Get two small pieces, maybe. Oh, I'm going to be lucky. So, two pieces of that. Is this long enough? This looks shorter. Oh, just. So, we'll put. I wonder if we should put that on the outside. That maybe looks better than the lace. So there's that. I don't know, the lace is quite pretty. And the white matches the white bits. And the black can go inside. Because it shows up more there. Yes, that's what we'll do. And I think this is drying in. I think we might be lucky. So let's get this on. Now, do I want it on this way? I'm going to put it on that way. Right, okay, let's just let's just get it on. that bit off at the bottom. Oh, yeah. There we are. And another piece. For this side.
and that helps to hide those little bits that were shown through. So, yeah, that's quite pretty and it's nice and different from the, the nature one. That'll look, look nice. Right, and let's just get the rickrack on the inside. I'm just going to tidy that up. Let's just cut some of that off. I'm going to do that. It's a bit awkward. A little stubborn bendy bit. <laughs> there. And we'll get this bit on here. And I think that'll be that'll be us for part one and the next video. Part two, I will be putting together the, the signatures and I'll show you how we chop these down a little bit. But let me just get these this on. This is a little bit frayed at the end here. Let's just chop a tiny wee bit off. That's us. Right, so that's the inside and the outside. And yes, that's dried in a little bit, so I'm hopeful that that'll dry in. So next time we will, because let me show you just now, they're, when they're in now you can see that they're too big. So what we do is we'll fold that and we'll take a little bit off and a little bit off the, the top and bottom as well. Just get them trimmed down a bit and add them in to any other types of pages that you want to use like um, what I've done here is um, book pages, paper bags, um, old maps, old magazines um, so anything that we want to add in and I'll be putting plenty pockets in this because I want to put my postcards Alice in Wonderland postcards in uh, in this one. Right, well, so I'm going to go and be back for part two um, another day. Uh, fingers crossed, maybe tomorrow or maybe Monday. But uh, I'll certainly be back with part two and we'll sort out how we're going to put those signatures in. So thanks for stopping by today and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.